are in Sana's Bathrooms showrooms to help you with some expert advice on planning your bathroom with Richard Sloan from Sana's. This is part of a series of videos to help you to navigate your way through the journey of planning your bathroom with guidance from leading bathroom brand Sana's. In this episode, we are going to talk all about baths. Richard, are they still as popular as they were? They are, and I think the bath is probably now very much a considered use. So, I mean, historically, it was really our you know, yeah. only way of bathing, but yeah. now showering has become so popular. People are investing a lot in showering, but the bath still has a really important place in the home. It, so yeah. when it comes to baths, there's like so many variations, so many options. This example here would be your typical, what we call a straight bath, okay? So that generally will go in either between two walls or in a corner and you'll have the likes of a bath panel. This particular model, the Cadenza, actually has the integrated hand grips for getting in and out of the bath. And one of the really nice features of this particular product is normally grips on a bath protrude above the, yes. the side and you can't actually put like a, like a bath screen on. Whereas this, because they're flush down below the surface of the rim, so it's quite a nice design. Very neat. You can see here again, this is what we call an end tap hole bath. So as I've kind of, it very obviously sounds, the taps are at the end of the bath. And there's loads of different varieties of taps you can have, deck mounted taps that just look after filling the bath. In this particular example, we actually have a four hole mixer with an overflow filler. So this, when it's actually in use, fills the bath through the overflow. Every bath has to have an overflow in case the bath was to be left running while it was unattended so that it doesn't leak yes. into the bathroom. So this actually has like a kind of a dual function. It's the overflow, but it's also the tap as well. And then you have things like your retractable hand shower, which is handy for cleaning down the bath or washing your body or washing your hair. So that's just an example of your standard rectangular bath. Okay. If you just were to move around this way, Lorraine, freestanding baths are really growing in popularity. I love And again, yeah. they're such an efficient use of space. Sometimes people perceive a freestanding bath as a bit of a luxury, but the design and the materials that they're manufactured from now actually make them quite affordable. They're quite accessible for people as part of your everyday luxury. And within that then, we've got various shapes, sizes, but the, actually the, the big advantage of the freestanding bath is the walls on the bath are quite thin. So the actual bathing space, even in a smaller footprint of bath, can actually be quite generous. We do encourage people to get in and try before you buy because getting the right fit for you as the user is quite important. You so, did, you told me, yeah, the team yeah. here told me to get into the bath. And in fact, um, I didn't first time round, second time round I did and I ended up changing yeah. from one bath to yeah. the other, which yeah. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. I was buying purely from an aesthetics point of view and yeah. um, the shape that I wanted. But yeah, it is really, really important yeah. to do that. Yeah, so we definitely encourage people to, to try the bath and get inside. Generally now they all come with a white finish, but as a new feature going forward, Sunnis will be offering the opportunity to have your bath painted on the external. So choose any color from the RAL spectrum and we'll be able to color the outside of the bath. So again, bringing that individuality, that bit of bespokeness yes. to the bathroom itself. So when it comes to the freestanding bath, there's generally an option for a, a deck mount to tap on some models. A lot of the models we sell wouldn't actually have that provision, which you can see here. So you generally go for either freestanding mixers or wall mounted mixers. The most important thing with the freestanding mixer to note, this is a first fix decision. So this tap has an anchor that goes into the floor before the tiling. So again, we spoke about in earlier episodes about good communication. So this is not something you rock up and put in after your bathroom has been tiled. Okay. This has to be provided for early in the process. So again, that's one of those important first fix decisions. Yes, okay. Yes. So you can see there's a variety of colors available um, on the mixers and they're what we call floor standing and that they can be positioned anywhere that's suitable around the bath. Other options then for filling your bath, we're back to a kind of a traditional straight bath here. And again, we're just trying to demonstrate different examples to people for filling the bath. So in this particular case here, we have a water flow filler and you have a control then with a diverter. So this will basically open the flow, hot, cold, the bath can fill from this overflow filler or sorry, it can, it can control, for, it can flow from the waterfall filler or you can choose to have an overflow filler or you can have the hand shower. So you basically have different options. Lots of different options to, to suit bath. your budget and your exactly, needs. Exactly, exactly, yeah. okay. And so, then for people who can't have the luxury of a shower and a bath in the one space, 
for those applications, we do a dedicated shower bath. Okay, so these come in different shapes. So this one is what we call the L shape, and there's a P shape version as well. So this has been designed specifically to have that hybrid solution. So the base area it has additional reinforcement. It has a wider um, footprint for when you're standing in as well. And then it has a dedicated screen that will actually protect the water from spilling out. Very okay. clever. Yeah. So we've got our built in, we've got our freestanding. What about the whirl Pool bath oh, we're pool baths, home yeah. spa. Yeah, home yeah. spa. Yeah, if you just want to follow me around here, Lorraine. Right? So this is an example from our Pacific range. So this is an extra deep bath and it comes with a whirlpool system as well, which is optional. Wow. Any of the rectangular baths that we've shown you or the shower baths have the option of being upgraded to a whirlpool system. They're all assembled here on site. So we basically take the bath, we drill out the bath for the jets, and then we fit the Whirlpool system onto the bath here on site. It takes a couple of days to, to, to kind of from order, and then we will fully wet test um, and power test the bath as well before we ship it to the customer. So Is that going to be more costly? Because it does sound very fancy. Well, it does add additional cost because you've got additional functionality. Yeah, mm -hmm. but again, I mean, it's still it's still quite achievable. And again, for people who are using the bath maybe once a week as that spa-like retreat, mm -hmm. having the additional benefit of a whirlpool system just puts some, treat. Put some sizzle back Why in with not? the sausage. Why not? While you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So generally we offer them with eight jets or 12 jets. So I would always recommend you go for the extra jets. So for having the foot and back jets, because that's really where you'll get most of the benefit. Of course. Yeah. And you're going to have additional features like lights added in as well. So for that chromotherapy benefit, you can have an aqua light fitted into the system as well. Wow. That really does sound like a home spa, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>